All right. So here's the deal. How do you sell life insurance on Facebook? Let's talk about it. All right, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got a hot one for you. If you're a life insurance agent, you're struggling with your leads, you're struggling with your sales, you're struggling with getting clients, you're just not growing fast enough. This is definitely the show you want to make sure you subscribe to and watch. I'm your humble host, Earl Hall. Look, getting leads is the lifeblood of everything it is that we do in the life insurance industry. It is the thing, the main thing that keeps us afloat. We know that if you don't have leads, you really don't have a business at all. I want to make sure you check out all the links below. Also, give me a like, thumbs up, all that kind of good stuff. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. We're going to switch over here because I want to go through some things that I know you're interested in. It's like, how in the world... I don't know why this is in my screen and now you're seeing me record. So let's go back to <laughs> technology. You must love it. All right. So how to sell life insurance on Facebook. This is like a big deal, right? This is a thing that so many people literally want to know how to do and just don't know how to do. So we're going to go through some things today to really kind of demystify this for you so that if you're struggling with leads, you're tired of spending all this money on expensive leads, then you got to know how to do this. It's something that we teach, especially you can check the link right here, lifeinsuranceleadgenerator.com. You can find out how we do this for folks just like you. But I'm going to go through an overview of how it is that we do that and how it is that you can do it yourself. So the first thing it is that you must have is a target. So when I'm talking about target is that target market, what type of life insurance are you going to be selling? And you have to be very definitive, right? Is it final expense? Is it an IUL? Is it whole life? Is it an annuity? Hope I spelled that right. Um, what else do we have? IULs, uh, final expense, annuity. Okay, I'm just going to choose these three topics because this is where we mainly focus on that. Now, the reason why you want to make sure you first identify the target because it is going to be the thing that drives your marketing or your ad. Because here's the thing is, you only want to have one target. That's it. If I know you probably sell multiple different kinds of insurance, right? I know you have all these different carriers, all these different things that you can do. But when you're marketing, you must definitively pick one doesn't mean you can't market to them all. But you can only market one thing at one time to one audience. Don't try and market to several different audiences at the same time. You want to make sure that you have one target. The next thing that's going to be really important is the copy that's in the ad. The copy in the ad can copy in the ad. The copy in the ad cannot be ambiguous. It has to be spot on in what the words are that you're saying. It has to talk directly to that audience. And I don't mean like what most lead vendors do, which quite honestly, it's kind of deceptive to me. A lot of the things that I see, it seems like they're offering some sort of free government program. They're offering a free Amazon gift card, something like that. Nobody, you're going to really kill yourself and an ad budget if you're trying to market that way. So you've got to be, have one target. It's the copy in the ad has to be directed to that target and it has to be unique. One of the things that we see is that the ads, how do you spell unique? My gosh, is that it? Yeah, the ads have to be unique, meaning how are you going to differentiate yourself from everyone else? Because if your ad looks exactly like everyone else's, it's not going to work because now you're just a commodity. You're an also ran. You're not someone to be that's looked at as a, a trusted advisor. You're just another life insurance salesperson. 
you want to get out of that mode. So you've got to understand the marketing aspect of this, the targeting aspect of this, the copy that's in the ad. And I'm going to give you one bonus tip here. No stock. Let me capitalize this. No stock images. What I mean by that, you'll notice in an ad when you see them scrolling through Facebook, right, that a lot of people just use stock images. Well, first and foremost, people already know that's an ad because it's, it's a staged picture. What you want to use is something that's personalized so that it attracts that audience in and is centered around the ad copy that you're creating. We have some very, very detailed templates inside of our program. And again, you can get there by going to lifeinsuranceleadgenerator.com and see how this goes and also see why the agents that use our strategy are having the literal success that they're having. No one is teaching this the way that we teach it because no one has the experience that we have. First licensed myself back in 1994. I've been in life insurance for a minute. I know this industry inside and out and I know your pain. I want you to make sure that you follow these steps specifically. Most importantly, no stock images. When it comes down to the, the targeting, of this, the targeting of the ad, who are you targeting? The age range, right? Type of insurance. You've got to have this stuff dialed in. If you don't, <clears throat> the ads aren't going to work. So you want to make sure that you have this dialed in. Now I'm going to give you some other tips here, and this is all centered around an ad budget, right? How much do you need to be spending right now? And let me get my little numbers here. Right now, don't need to be capitalized on that. You're probably spending, if you're buying leads, anywhere from 500 to, let's just call it $1,000 per week. It's a lot of money, isn't it? So how much do you need to spend when you have an ad budget? So let's just take this... Um, case by case ad budget. This is what we've worked out. This is what we already know. We're not guessing at this. We know exactly how this is done. So what kind of ad budget do you need for final expense? You want an ad budget of around a hundred dollars per day. That's going to give you in. Let's just go back through here. If you want to do mortgage protection, you want an ad budget whoops, of about $200 per day. If you're doing IULs or annuities, you want an ad budget of 250 to $300, and these are all per day. All of these are per day. So let's work through some of this and talk about some ROI stuff here, which is vitally important, right? So now, the key thing about this is, about your ad budget and the way that we've already talked about structuring your Facebook ads, is that you're going to be generating more leads, higher quality leads, higher quality, more quantity, than you would buying from a lead vendor. You already know that if you're sending out mailers or you're buying from a lead vendor, if we just took, just take a look at the final expense ad budget, $100 a day, five days a week, it's 500 bucks, right? That 500 is probably going to get you just as many leads as if you were spending 1000 to 2000 because they're yours. They're exclusively going to you if you know how to set up all of this stuff on back-end Facebook systems. So what is it that you actually need? you need and let's get my little numbers going up here you need a facebook business page you need a facebook ads manager you need a calendar because one of the things that we teach, it's not just about getting leads, but it's about getting those leads to book appointments directly on your calendar. If you want to get that strategy, all you have to do is go to lifeinsuranceleadgenerator.com and we'll start talking to you about that. But just imagine instead of spending Monday or Thursday or dial day, dialing all day to book appointments, what if people could automatically book appointments on your calendar because they've gone through something of a funnel that we can show you how to create?
What if you didn't have to spend all of your time on Monday and Thursday dialing, but literally you could be closing deals seven days a week if that's what you wanted to do? We can show you how to do that. So you need a calendar. And then beyond that, it is all about the strategy of how to connect all of this together. If you don't have a current strategy on how to do all this, then obviously you need one, right? You need to have a strategy going so that your life insurance business becomes automated and predictable. Right now it's not automated and predictable. All you're doing is buying leads, you're calling leads. No automation involved in that. You're doing all the work here. You're calling all the leads. What you want to have in place is something so that instead of you continuing to call and call and call and call, you have some automated systems to put into place so that you literally start running a real business and you take yourself out of the equation to have to do lead gen because your lead gen is on automation without having to depend on anyone else to do the lead gen for you. Look, I hope this has all made sense for you right here. Um, and I definitely want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Leave me your comments below. What do you think about what I just laid out for you? Do you want to know more? Yes or no? Are you going to look into this deeper? Are you going to go to the website, lifeinsuranceleadgenerator.com? Are you just going to get off of this video and just go keep doing the same old thing that you already know isn't working? I want you to start working smarter and harder, smarter and harder, not just smarter, not harder, smarter and harder so that you can get to the goal that you want to get to. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.